Happy Sunday, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I pray that you are well today. And um, if you are sick and feeling discouraged, depressed, or going through some severe trials right now, I know that each and every one of us are always going into trials and tribulations or coming out of one so you know that our family went through one um, last week you know with my son Micah in the hospital for three days so you know this week for the last few days um, it's been wonderful because he's been well and happy and goofy and playing again but um, I know that many of you are going through some major trials and sickness right now and uh, I just wanted to bring this beautiful beautiful truth living word of our Savior in Jesus Christ because Jesus is the word amen and I pray that this truth alone knowing how much God loves you how much God loves us the width, the depth, and height of His love and His faithfulness for us, I pray that it will lift up your heart and your countenance. And let me just go to the Word of God. Ephesians 3, chapter 14 through 21. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. I've been praying for many of you. I'm not going to mention your name. I know that... Um, you're dealing with some major stuff right now and you're on my heart and I am praying for you and God's grace will see you through it as he always does he's faithful he's true so hang on to his promises amen all right for this cause I bow my knees unto the father of our Lord Jesus Christ of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. Thank you, Lord. We are in the family of God. Glory, hallelujah. That he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. This is my prayer for you, that God would strengthen your inner man according to his rich glory, his rich mercy in Christ Jesus, that your inner man, your heart, your mind, every areas of your life, your body that needs to be strengthened, made whole, that he would just breathe his life, his power, his healing, his peace, his faith to rise up in you, in your inner man. Amen that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye being rooted and grounded in love I just want to encourage each one of us to be deeply rooted and grounded in the love of God nothing else matters and the love of God is what we have to stand upon amen to hope upon and his love is sufficient to sustain us through all storms may be able to comprehend with all saints with what is the breadth and the length, the depth, the height, and to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge that ye may be filled with all the fullness of God. When we are full of the knowledge, we'll never be full of the knowledge, but when we gain the depth, the width, the height, the understanding of God's love for us, the immeasurable, unfailing love that he has for us, you know, then we are filled with the fullness of God because God is love, amen? And perfect love casts out fear. And his love overlooks sins, all sins, sins that we confess and repent. He forgives us and cleanses us from all unrighteousness, amen? And he empowers us with the knowledge of his love. This is why it's imperative that we lean and stand upon his great love for us in these hours of testings and trials. I beg you to please do not be offended with God. Do not be offended with his people. Do not be offended with Jesus Christ. If you are suffering and going through things right now and 
you've been praying and you feel that he isn't hearing you and you feel that he's, he doesn't care enough and he's not answering your prayers, I pray that you will guard your heart. This is something that um, I also have to do, guard my heart so that I'm not offended um, with God. Because we can't be offended with God, although every single one of us has fallen into that trap. You know, we get angry with God. We accuse Him of being not faithful. We accuse Him of not caring enough, you know. Just like, um, was it Martha, that um, sister's, um, Lazarus' sister? You know, she said to Jesus, had you been here, um, my brother would not have died. You know, she accused Jesus of, you know, not being on time, not caring enough. And, you know, that's why Lazarus uh, died. But she didn't know that she was standing in the presence of the author of life who raises the dead to life, whose very breath, you know, of every human being comes from him she didn't realize that he is the lord of the resurrection and that it didn't matter you know what time he got there that he can command dead things to life and she was offended with him um and many many of us i was offended with the lord and ran from god for many 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 years almost a couple of decades um angry at him but um i just ask that you would please guard your heart do not be offended with God and just let us humble ourselves and just go to his throne of mercy and grace daily to receive his gift of mercy. His um, Thank him, you know, for his unfailing love, knowing that he will hold us in the palm of his hands and he will carry us and sustain us by his perfect, unfailing, unconditional, immeasurable love for us. Amen. All right, where am I at? Oop, the wind blew off my pages. So let me get back to where I was. All right, and to know the love of Christ, which, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with the fullness of God. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church, by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. I pray that the love of God would just restore you today. The love of God would comfort your heart. The love of God would breathe hope and faith to arise in your heart. The love of God would be a delight of your soul, whatever it is that you're going through. His love will sustain you. His love will carry you through your storms. I love you guys. May the Lord bless you, be merciful to you, be gracious to you, and make his face shine upon you. you gotta go clean the house. I'll talk to you later. Be blessed. Bye.